Hi guys and welcome back to Calligraphy Masters channel. My name is Milanist and today is the second episode of Calligraphy Masters Thursday reviews in which I will be reviewing the new sizes of Pilot Parallel Pen. If you haven't watched the first episode you can check it here. If you want to win one of those prints watch the video till the end, find the hidden message and comment it below. I'll start with uh, comparing the old Pilot Parallel Pen sizes versus the new ones and what are the main differences. I actually never had a package like this. Usually when I bought uh, the old Pilot Parallel Pens, I was getting them like this. But I guess this is a new package from Pilot with some info. Inside we have a let hand lettering calligraphy set parallel pen instructional guidebook where it's explained basically how to use the pen, how to clean it and if you have a, no olive shadow in calligraphy what uh, strokes to practice then how to mix the colors some uh, ugly alphabets <laughs> I'm just kidding black letter and what else? If you enjoy the content of the channel, please consider subscribing. If you don't want to miss any of our latest videos, click the bell icon as well. Some flourishes and info about cartridges and other products of Pilot. It comes with the... Uh, oh, that's nice. Colors, cartridges for the Pilot Parallel Pens. 12 colors and then 6 black ones but yeah let's start comparing the pens actually this is pretty cool i love the material the old pilot parallel pens came in 1.5 millimeter 2.4 millimeter 3.8 millimeters and 6.0 millimeters as you can see the whole pen is like uh, 17 centimeters when you take the cap off, it becomes like 16. It has a plastic cap. The body is also plastic. Actually, the only metal is the tip. This is where you put the cartridge. But I'm not gonna go in deeper review of the Pilot Parallel Pens. If you want to see a good uh, review of them, I'll put a link in the description. Let's check the new ones. How do they make those packages like? Well, right off, the first differences with the old ones, as you can see, are the colors. We have uh, red, orange, green, and blue for the old Pilot Parallel Pens. And then we have this, I don't know what's this color name, is it? Uh, I don't know, let me know what the name of this color is. For the four pine for the four point five millimeter and a pink one which is super cool pink for the three millimeters. Okay. So the pens are pretty much the same except the sizes and the colors. Uh, I don't know man. is it Maybe because I'm not used to it, maybe because it's new to me, but uh, I really like this pink. The main differences, besides the sizes, is the colors in the caps and the color of the body. The old ones have a silver body, as you can see, and the new ones have a white one. To be honest, the new ones uh, seem more appealing to the eye, at least to me. And I don't know when, when I look to them, they are just a bit more exciting than the old ones. I don't know if it's just me or it is like this. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And <laughs> the paper, I'm gonna be using two papers today. One is the Molotov Aquapad, which is 180G, 
and the second one is the manuscript calligraphy pad which is uh, 50 GSM uh, the difference is besides the thickness of the paper this one has some kind of a pattern which looks really interesting and this one it's very thin paper but it has some gloss to it I'm not sure if you can see it but we'll see how the pens perform on the different papers I'm just really quickly gonna put all the cartridges in all the pilot parallel pens that I'm gonna be using in this video so they are ready to go and I already made them a mess I don't know how people like to use one keep their tools so clean well I'm not to use one and I'm not even trying to be it's annoying for me that I'm so messy but it's part of me so that's it I'm starting with the thinner paper the one of uh, manuscript and I'm really sorry for the out of focus here I'm gonna I'm gonna make it better next time but uh, the thing is uh, I was not happy with this paper and how the pilot went on it uh, I don't think you can see here on the paper why I was annoyed but you can see it in my letters they are very annoyed and <laughs> quickly written so I've decided really quickly to change to the paper of Molotov the one with uh, the grain not the pattern as I said in the beginning this paper caused another problem as it caused the smaller sizes to bleed and the letters didn't look as sharp on this specific paper like they were sharp but bleeding caused them to not look as sharp as these pens look on other type of papers uh, when I was getting the bigger and bigger sizes this problem was becoming less and less but still I didn't know what to do because those were the two papers I have chose to write on but uh, once I finish with all the pens I've decided to take another paper from a cheap sketch pad and the, the paper was 180 GSM with the smooth surface Uh, I'm just uh, gonna make a quick uh, calligram it's not really a calligram but yeah it's gonna be a rectangle shape filled with uh, keep writing and repeatedly until the end keep writing keep writing keep writing because if you haven't noticed by by now in order to grow your calligraphy skills and to improve you gotta keep writing <laughs> Yeah, there is not so much uh, of me writing in this video, but I don't know, let me know. I'm still trying to figure out how to make these reviews. Do you want me more talking about the tools, more writing or what? By the way, on the next day, uh, I've decided to turn around the grainy paper and on the other side, it's just an amazing result. Right now I'm uh, writing on the other side of the paper. showing you how to make the gradient by touching the pilot parallel pens and yeah just had some fun I'm annoyed that it's out of focus but uh, as I said next time I'm gonna make sure it's uh, not gonna be out of focus and uh, one calligram that I made without recording on the grainy surface so it's really cool but it's not as easy it's time to give my rating for the new sizes of pilot parallel pen i don't know if i'm biased here because if you know if you watch the videos from some time you should know that uh, 
Final Parallel Pen is my favorite pen. The reason I started calligraphy, I'm really in love with this pen. In terms of uniqueness, like Pile Parallel Pen is just uh, another fountain pen. It looks very different from the usual fountain pens, but uh, other than that, it's not that unique of a design, I guess, or I'm just used to it. But we're rating the new sizes today and uniqueness is definitely unique. It's different from the old sizes. And I really love the colors, like it just, it looks like candy, doesn't it? So uniqueness, I'll give it four stars. Quality, I mean, pilot parallel pens are super quality in terms of writing, probably some of the sharpest letters, but it's plastic. And I don't know if it's just with the new ones, but they get so dirty. I mean, usually my tools are a mess, but with this white holder now, I don't know how it will gonna be looking in a few days. Quality, I'll give it a five. Five stars for quality. Also, uh, you can play along with me. Let me know in the comments how much stars you give for, for the, each of the categories. I'm really interested to hear what you think guys about it. Price is between $7.50 and $10, which is automatically uh, five stars for me. I mean, this is a great price. Like a few years ago when I was buying my Pilot Parallel Pens, I believe they were much more expensive, so this is pretty cool price. Accessibility. At the moment, the new sizes are sold only on uh, gulletpens.com for $10 the piece and uh, at Amazon as well. And at Amazon, they cost $7.50. I mean, Amazon makes it quite accessible for a lot of people. And I believe with the time, there are gonna be much more places where you'll be able to get them. But let's say for accessibility at the moment, I'll give it uh, four stars. Durability, as I said, it's plastic, it's breakable. I myself broken so many pilot parallel pens, but at the same at the same time, people like Tio's one, they take care of the pilots and uh, they still write with them after a lot of years. So durability, I'll give four stars only because it's plastic and I know how easy I break them. Other, otherwise, I would have given them five stars, but it's plastic. I don't think I can give five stars for plastic. Can I? Cool factor, like, I guess you've seen me already in the video, uh, how I speak about them, how hyped I am when I look to them. When I look to those, I don't know, maybe because I'm used to watching to them, but check this out. Cool factor, definitely five stars. Let me know in the comments what's your score about the new sizes of Pilot Parallel Pen. Let me know if you tried them already or if you are somewhere in the world where you are not able to get them yet. Uh, keep an eye on Calligraphy Masters Instagram. In a few days I will launch a giveaway together with Pilot Pen USA, the guys that sponsored me for this video. And uh, we will give away one of these packs with the four odd sizes and two of those babies as well. If you enjoyed this video guys, a thumbs up will be much appreciated. Let's see if we can get a thousand thumbs ups for the new sizes of Pilot Parallel Pens. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video and as always, keep writing.